Hey guys, so welcome back and today I want to talk a little bit about how you can turn the videos that you have now created using ArcMap, the layouts, uh, graphics, anything like that, and how you can add music to the background of it. This also goes for things like voiceover. The only difference with a voiceover is that you would need to record the audio first, uh, same way that you would in any other sort of voiceover. But adding any sort of sound applies in the exact same way. So I don't typically add uh, sound in PowerPoint. Instead, what I do for my videos is actually use a video editing software to do this. Um, it makes it very, very easy, and it allows you to do things like audio mixing if that is what you're interested in. Uh, but even if you're just looking for a base level, nice kind of background music ahead of time, uh, so that just to add that little pizzazz to your video, then this is going to be a really good way to do that. And so in this particular case, I typically use a paid program called HitFilm, but I also use a free one that is called OpenShot Video Editor. So HitFilm, even though it is paid, does have a lot of other options that are attached to it, but for a very simple video, video editing software that is pretty straightforward and is pretty good, just as a whole, video, the OpenShot Video Editor is pretty good. It works in Windows, Mac, Linux, uh, so I really, really like it. It lets you do kind of all of the things that I would want to do with that. Um, and so it is a pretty cut and dry program, pretty simple to use. So uh, that's the one we're going to be using in this video. So the first thing that uh, what you need to do when you're adding music is you actually need to find the music attached to it. It's the same sort of thing as when you're using images. You want to find something that is non-royalty, uh, so that is royalty free. Uh, and or under Creative Commons for licensing, uh, where you can use it in this case for non-commercial because we're dealing with non-commercial things, research projects, open, uh, things like that. We're not getting paid for any of this. And so in this particular case, uh, Pixabay is a really good place to find those royalty-free images and royalty-free music. Uh, so this is going to be a place where you can find some stuff. So if you click down here, you can see that there's music. And so I can, uh, I don't know, say I want background music. Let's go with. And so this is going to come up with a whole bunch of different options for you. It tells you how long they are. And then you have the option to download them. This is a great place to check that out. The other thing that you can do is Soundstripe is another one. It has a lot of uh, royalty-free music as well. It does require a sign up and there are some limits on it, but two very, very good options if you're only making a couple of videos, if you don't need, um, if you don't need a lot of things. So once you have found a track that kind of matches your video vibe uh, and you've downloaded it and you have your video, so the MP4 that you made either using your ArcGIS keyframes or using your PowerPoint and you have your MP3 file, then you can flip over into your open shot software and it's going to look like this when it comes up. So in here, you have your project files, the video preview, and your tracks. So your tracks are essentially the layering that goes into this. So in one of those, you will put uh, your video. In the other one, you will put your audio. And that's kind of how this is all going to stack. If you want other things in there, so if you have images or if you want to add text, you can do that as well. But in this particular case, we already added our annotations in the PowerPoint video. So if you want to do that there, feel free to check that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate over to my videos. And you'll notice here that I have my Sobe presentation. I'm going to pull that guy in. Uh, that's my file there. And then I'm going to head over. And I'm going to, in this case, I had already downloaded uh, one of my old songs, uh, not my personally, but a song that I had on my computer. Um, and we're not going to be posting the video online uh, or anything crazy like that. So we're not worried, in this case, about copyright. Um, so, because this is just for the demo purposes. So this was an old Kazomba song. Maybe doesn't fit in terms of the uh, vibe I'm going for, but in this case, uh, it is pretty simple and pretty cut and dry. And so once you drag and drop those in there, then what you do is you just drag and drop them into your tracks, okay? So uh, you saw that I pulled the Sylvie presentation. I clicked on it, dragged it into this track five, and then I drag and drop this, uh, the song into my track four. Now, you'll notice that the music track is a lot longer. And so one of the things you're going to need to do is you're going to want to cut them to the same size. 
right? So you're, you're not going to have a three minute video um, or a four minute video and only have images for the first 15, 20 seconds of it, right? So you need to cut those. Now, in this particular case, you can also adjust that. So if you want a section that's in the middle of your song, figure out what specifically, what part of it you want it to start at, cut it there, and then you can work towards cutting at the end. In this particular case, I'm just gonna use the front. It's gonna make it nice and simple. And so I'm gonna click this little scissors button. So we're gonna cut, or in this case, it's also called the razor tool. So I'm gonna zoom in to this section so that I get it a little bit closer to where this actual end is and I'm going to line it up and then I'm just going to chop it there. Now you'll notice now if I drag this over that we now have two different separate files here. Uh, so basically I've just taken this and cut it into two different ones. If I want to get back and then I just click on the razor tool again and you'll notice that I have my nice little clicking button again. So in this case what I want to do is I want to click this extra bit and I want to delete it. And in this case, it's pretty close. Um, it, it's, a, it's a fairly close cut, uh, not too bad. If I wanna be real specific about it, maybe I would go in and adjust it. But for the purposes of kind of this video and a rough cut, this isn't too bad at all. And so then what I can do is I can check out and see what actually is happening in this case. So I can hit play. There we go. All right, so now we can see that we have a video playing with music in the background. Now, as I said, maybe we're not a huge fan of that, but this is what it is. And you can see that this is the video that I created in that layout one with that annotation uh, on, that, on that purple one, right? So in this case, maybe we want to add a little bit uh, to this. So maybe we don't like it starting right as it does. So what I can do there is I can click on this one and then right click on it. If I right click on this, I can see that there's a variety of things that come up. So in this case, I want to take a look at the volume um, and I want to say, take a look at the start of the clip and I want to fade that in, let's say. And so I can adjust that. Now you can adjust base level as, as well for the entire clip. So if you want it to be a little bit lower, want it to be a little bit background so that maybe you have uh, a background music and a voiceover and you want your voiceover to be louder, you can stack those into different tracks and have different volumes, adjust that as you go. This is where you can start doing audio mixing. In this particular case, so I'm just gonna go to the start of the clip, I'm gonna fade it in, and I'll try fade in slow, we'll see what that does. You can see that it puts two dots, that's the length of time that it's gonna fade in my volume. Uh, now, this video isn't particularly long, so maybe I don't want to have that long of a fade in, but we can see. And then if I go over here, I can do the same thing. There's an end of clip and I want to fade that out. Now the video is probably going to end pretty quick. I don't have a lot going on here, or maybe I have, if I'm a YouTube uh, channel, maybe I have an end uh, scene that I put at the end of this. But so I'm going to fade this one out pretty, pretty quick. Uh, and so then you can see this one's a little bit shorter. And so I can do that and then I can see what this is going to look like like this. So that fades it in a lot more slowly. Now, in my case, I don't really like it uh, with that slow of a fade in. So I'm going to shorten that fade in and I'm going to see what that does. That's a much better series of time that I want for that. Uh, it fades it in pretty quick, but it doesn't have that very hard start. And so if I'm happy with this, this is what I want. I've got my video, I've got my background music, then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my file, I'm gonna export my project, uh, and I'm gonna export my video. So when I export my video, it should come up with what kind of format do I want this in, where is it gonna go? So in this case, I've got it as an MP4. I can flip this out depending on what I want my uh, format to be. So in this case, I'm just gonna leave it as the default and I'm gonna say uh, that this is great. I'm gonna say that my file name is going to be uh, the Alberta Selby completed video. I'm gonna keep it as an MP4. Uh, I'm gonna leave it at this default. It's gonna be high quality and then I'm gonna export my video. And you can see that it's gonna run there and that's it. 
pretty simple, pretty cut and dry, but it can add just that little bit of extra to your video to elevate it that one step further. So thank you so much, and uh, I'll be back here with graphics and more things in a bit.